Well, good morning. It is August 6th, day 89 on the trail for me. I've left the antlers tent site and uh, it rained like expected most of the night. Uh, and it is, now it's cool and clear. It is about, it's in the high 50s. Uh, should make for a good hike today as far as the weather is concerned. Um, got a great picture of the uh, of the sunrise or just before sunrise coming over the, the lake. Um, the plan for today is uh, about what 13.7 miles I think uh, to a lean to. Terrain doesn't look too bad. One small climb and a couple other minor you know, things, but relatively flat today. So, should not, should make for a, an enjoyable day, I hope. Uh, good weather, decent terrain, packs a little heavy, <laughs> still from the food drop yesterday, but not unbearable. get at some point I guess in about 3.5 miles or we hit an artesian spring it's supposed to be some of the best water on the trail uh, poet yesterday says oh, when you get there dump out whatever water you have and refill with that so got that water um, and then in about four and a half miles um, come across a lake that's supposed to have a, a great view of Katad and to the north. So, looking forward to that. There's a supposed to be a good waterfall, but it's like a mile off trail. So that that might be pushing it. I don't know that I want to do that much. I'll have to see how I'm feeling when I get to that blue blaze. But that's a, you know, that's two miles, right? It's a mile there and a mile back. That might be a little bit too much. We'll see. And then uh, the shelters, I think by a stream. And uh, hopefully... Hopefully there's a little bit of open sky since the weather's supposed to be good today and tonight. I'll have to see. I don't know. I've never not been there before. All right. Well, as always, if I see anything interesting, I'll grab a picture or some video. But for now, here's what the trail looks like. Well, another sandy beach here on a, a lake or pond. Sorry. And a nice little peak in the background. This is the Potawejo Spring. Uh, it's an artesian spring and it's supposed to be some of the best water on the trail. Well, I'm gonna find out. Well, I grabbed the water, I filtered it because, you know, I should filter it anyways. And it tastes pretty good. I mean, it tastes like water, which is good, right? It tastes like water. It doesn't taste like anything else. 
uh, ran into a guy up there who um, also flip-flopping, but he did it differently. So he was hiking with some people and they hit some, you know, a little bit of a drought in Virginia and hot weather. And so they flipped up from Harper's Ferry. You know, basically they got off trail in Harper's Ferry and headed up here and did Katahdin and now they're heading south. So a different kind of flip-flop than I'm doing. Um, you know, it goes by, his name was Half-Baked. He's uh, a baker and he has some half-baked ideas, he said. So a nice guy. Um, all right, well, I'm only about, what, three and a half miles in so far. Uh, you know, I don't have to rush. I can take a little bit more time today because I'm only doing 13 point something miles. So, not rushing, taking an easy pace and uh, trying to enjoy it. All right. Drink in the days. All right, so here's what the trail looks like. Hey, check out that staircase. I mean, you know, if the main club can do this in the middle of the wilderness, I don't understand how it can't be done in, in those areas in the White Mountains. This is Namakanta Lake. Well, that was probably the longest lunch I've ever taken out on the trail. But it included a swim. Yeah, went ahead and took a dip in the uh, in the lake. For the first time for everything, right? And it's one of those things that they say you got to do, right? While you're in Maine. There's all these lakes you're walking by. Get in one of them. That was fun. 
a little chilly I'm getting getting out <laughs> the water itself was was perfect and uh, it was a bit breezy but there is it was sunny as well so it wasn't too bad so. one more experience still by the lake yeah the uh, trail is kind of gonna go around the lake a little bit so right by the lake, trying to get through some uh, some roots and rocks, but it's been a nice day. Uh, you know, relatively cool and sunny. All right, well, I'm about two and a half miles from the, uh, the shelter. Wondering, I'll have to talk to Sully and Virio about pushing on a few more miles because we have a big day planned for tomorrow, like 19 miles. But if we can go a few more miles today, that would make life easier tomorrow. But I'm ahead of them, so I'm gonna get to the shelter area and. I won't pack up, or I won't, you know, set up everything, just in case they want to try and push for a few more miles. All right, well, got a little bit of a challenge here, so I'm going to show you what the trail looks like. So, made it the 13.6 miles to uh, the Wadley Stream campsite, or Lean To, and uh, yeah, not too bad. Um, tomorrow is going to be the tougher day. Um, looking at like 19.7 miles, and we have a couple of climbs. You know, nothing like things that we've seen earlier in Maine, but you know, you still have to do them. Um, yeah, so it was a nice day today. Got to, uh, walk by a couple of ponds, uh, lakes, and got to swim in one of them. That was, uh, that was exciting for me. Um, otherwise, yeah, just a lot of forest. Um, a lot of roots today. So you, you got this, uh, these huge, you know, trees, and there would be just this, uh, web of roots that you had to uh, to go through so that wasn't fun um plan for tomorrow is to get to i think it's called herd herd stream herd something i don't know herd something rather um and then the next day <laughs> We get to actually get into Baxter State Park, and then the next day, Summit. So that'll be Friday, right? Today, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Yeah, so the plan is to Summit on Friday, um, which is the 9th. Yeah, the 9th. It's so tough to keep track of the days out here, um, you know, when you're just sort of going back to back and... Uh, they have a similar routine each day, just, you know, the scenery changes just a little bit. And unless I look at my phone, it's tough to remember. Oh yeah, it's uh, August 5th. <laughs> All right. Um, 
nothing else much to say. It was a, uh, the weather was great today. It's supposed to be great tomorrow. It's supposed to be great on Thursday. Friday, we're not sure. Um, that's, that's the issue. Uh, and, and so that's why we were sort of talking about pushing harder um, to try and summit on Thursday. And, and Sully might be doing that. He, he went past this site. He talked to me for a little bit on his way. He says, I'm going to, I'm going to do a few more miles. So he still has that option. Pretty much now I'm locked in. Um, it would be a real tough, real tough to summit on Thursday. Now it would be almost impossible. I'd have to put in so many miles. It, it would be ridiculous. Um, but that, that option, as long as Sully made a few more miles today, he, he still got that option. And so that, that's, you know, that was up to him. Um, I'm, I'm going to stick with Friday. I'm going to stick with, uh, the plan. And, um, I can't, I don't want to worry about the weather. I know it's, uh, you have to think about the weather, but I want to try and, um, and enjoy these days, um, without worrying about that. So I'm going to stick with my, with the plan that uh, we had talked about and, uh, hope for the best. Hope that, uh, the morning is reasonable on Friday and then we get to the summit and if it rains on the way back and it rains, um, yeah, it's going to make it a little tougher, but i dealt with ridiculous trail conditions and somehow I've made it to here. So if it's raining, if it's, a, if it's wet, I'm sure I can make my way up and down that mountain. If there's lightning, yeah, that's a different story. Hopefully the lightning holds off. All right. Um, as always, if you've stuck through to the end, you know, I appreciate it and I will see you again tomorrow on the trail.